Let's get ready for Nona! The Pixar Spark short Nona is about a grandmother who plans to spend her day off shutting out the world and watching her favorite TV show, EWW Smashdown Wrestling. When her five-year-old granddaughter Renee is unexpectedly dropped off, Nona is caught between her two favorite things, Renee and wrestling. We got to talk to the director of Nona. Take a look. Louis Gonzalez, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So tell us about your history as an artist and what led you to be a story supervisor at Pixar. When I was young, I knew I wanted to draw for a living. I didn't go to art school and I didn't have anybody in my family that was an artist. You know, I just was, you know, I just wanted to draw all the time. And so my mom and dad, they worked in uh, LA Unified School District, right? They drove buses. And so they'd bring home these reams of like green and white paper that they used to use, you know, that, that were they would throw away and they would bring that home for me to mm-hmm. draw on. So I would sit there and draw on these long pieces of paper and tell like these long, you know, stories of battles fought it was just a place to lose myself you know and it was a beautiful thing and it still is because i feel like i'm so lucky to have started there that excitement that i felt when i was a kid drawing you know what i thought was the coolest stuff ever i'm still trying to do that i'm still trying to draw and tell stories about the coolest stuff ever but i just look a little older just a little bit how did you get into graffiti art and what skills or techniques did you carry over into your storyboarding work the thing that I discovered looking back at graffiti, the thing it gave me is it gave me that sense of community that I didn't know really existed. As a matter of fact, I think that's kind of what helped fuel and add, you know, gas to the fire of trying to be an artist was that I was around all these people. I wanted that for the rest of my life. I want to be in a community of people that are like me, that are passionate about drawing and and, and just, you know, just creating. You have such a cool story. And what's cool too is that it seems like your family was very supportive of it. Oh yeah, my mom and dad were really supportive. I remember the first time they saw my name in the credits on a, a movie, I'd, my first movie I had worked on. I was like, mom, you see the movie? And they were like, yeah, it was it was good. My sister then calls me, you know, and she's like, man, mom's over here talking our ear off about the movie that you were in and da 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 and like, how much she's so <laughs> proud of you and all this. <laughs> That's such a parent thing, like don't give the credit to you, but then like tell everybody else, let me tell my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, now you have a, a short of your own here with, with Nona. I definitely want to hear how you came about putting together this story. The way the story came about was, you know, you kind of have this character that's exciting or interesting. You know, it's like I had this thing that I had this tough grandmother that loves wrestling. I really only have one memory of my grandma and I talking about wrestling. I'm at a holiday thing, I'm kind of by myself, and my grandma's like, hey, you like wrestling, right? And I was like, yeah, I love wrestling, grandma. And she goes, you know, Stone Cold's my favorite. And that got me as a kid. I was just like, what? Like, grandma, you watch you watch wrestling? Grandma! Like, it kind of knocked me back, and it made me smile. Like, oh my God, you love something I love as an adult? No offense, I love my mom and dad, but they weren't going like, I love wrestling too. They were like, oh, you're watching wrestling again? <laughs> Great, go to bed. Yeah, it's school tomorrow. You know, and that was it. They were being parents, but my grandma was like doing the grandma thing. It was a connection that I just never forgot. I always sat with me. And I have those connections, right? We think we all do. Someone just shows you a kindness. Someone just comes in and, and without warning goes, oh, you like that? I like that too. And all of a sudden, you know, like the walls drop because someone took an interest in you. I actually watched wrestling a lot too growing up, but no one really knew about it. I just watched it in my little TV. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm the kid in your short that's like, let me turn to the cartoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. but that's it though, right? And that's what I would hope for is that there's something for everybody because like, I feel like I should be telling stories that mm-hmm have a truth that are trying to connect people, you know, trying to connect us. That is the dream for me. Do you have a favorite Pixar feature that you've worked on? I think my top, my top project really was Ratatouille. I felt like that was such a special and really unique movie. It's, you know, got that sense of small world character, like the rat in the kitchen. The metaphor is beautiful. Anyone can cook is a fantastic metaphor. As a person of color in the animation space, what do you hope to see more of in the future? My hope is that business becomes a little bit more of a level playing field and seeks out, you know, more voices, you know, voices that aren't represented. Movies are a, a powerful mechanism that it's utilized in a way that, you know, we can we can do more with it, I think. I think we should. I think it's our responsibility too. What advice would you give to artists who want to get into the industry, but maybe feel like they don't know how to do it or don't think they, they would fit in it? Like, how would you uh, encourage others to want to get into this space? My biggest advice is just be open to it, you know? Whatever it is that you think you want to do, as an artist, it's better to be open and take more in. As an artist growing up, like I wanted to do everything. I want to learn how to sculpt. I want to learn how to paint. I want to learn, I want to at least try it. 
all of it comes together. Like none of it is wasted. Like any time you spend doing something in your life, it's not usually wasted. What do you want your audience to leave with after they watch the Pixar Spark short Nona? I want them to take away that that idea that you know connection between generations or connections between people is important thank you so much it's been such a pleasure to talk to you and to hear more about your story which is amazing as well as hearing about the pixar spark shirt dota which can't wait to see it thank you so much thank you andre thank you jenny Stream the Pixar Spark short Nona now on Disney+. Plus. Also watch how these two new Pixar Spark shorts came to life in the documentary A Spark Story, launching exclusively on Disney Plus this September.